Hey guys, this is Cody from Python's Going Postal. We just got some new snakes in here, so we're doing a little collection update for you guys. Uh, two very, very nice looking snakes and a breeder female. This way we can get on the roll for you guys. So, I'll introduce you to them now. Uh, first up is our big female, uh, breeder, super pastel. I actually got her in, let's see, today's Sunday, which means we got these in on Thursday. And I've already had her lock up twice with my vanilla male. Uh, as you can see, very, very nice light coloration. I have to clutch it if that's your sire, sir. It will be vanilla pastel, and then the other half will just be pastel. Um, with all the vanilla projects out there, it's definitely going to be a hot commodity to have some vanilla, vanilla pastels, super vanilla pastels. Super pastel vanillas, so those snakes, those snakes will definitely be, uh, most of them will be kept back. This girl weighs 2120, and uh, she's feeding on live rats. Big girl. She's about a seven to eight egger, I've been told, and very nice, calm personality. Got a lot of, got a lot of plans for her. So hopefully, hopefully she delivers for me this year. But yeah, that's our super pastel girl. We picked up two other girls. We picked up two other girls. I'm gonna introduce you to uh, the one that I fell in love with when I saw it. Uh, I've always wanted a calico more if I never really knew uh, what I wanted to do with the calico. Um, the colliders are pretty sick, but the pastel colliders are even cooler. So what we did was we picked up pastel calico. Again, this is one of the, the first morphs that I had interest in. I just never got it. Um, but a nice little package deal on these guys. So this girl is very high white. I'm hoping you can see that. She comes from a really, really strong clutch. Her sister is a pastel collider, and she's she's already breaking the thousand thousand gram range. And they were born this year. This is a 2012, early 2012. It's still 2012. Um, and her sister is a collider, and her that that's growing well as well. Uh, she's she's in the range of 450 to 500 grams right now. Uh, She's got a weird habit. I've noticed that she came in shed, so we weren't really too worried about it at first, but she's been curled up in her water bowl, um, just sitting there. And she reminds me more of an anaconda than a ball python, but <laughs> well, it's, it's very interesting, to say the least. Every one of them has her own unique behavior, I guess. So that's the pastel calico. And then last but not least is a girl that Troy wanted, and that's the Hidden Gene Woma Granite. This one's a little smaller than the rest, the other ones. She's about the same size as my lesser genetic stripe uh, offspring right now. She's in the neighborhood of 200 grams. Just like, just like all hidden Jean Wilma, she has the really light spine, really, and then fading into the darker sides. A really neat, neat dorsal patterning there. And then you got the little marker on the head there to help show she's granite. And I'll give you guys a little belly shot of her. The other ones have clear belly, so there's really nothing there to see. There's the belly shot of this one. Uh, I just mentioned my lesser uh, genetic stripe clutch. Those babies are doing well. Uh, I will sh I'll do a clutch update for you coming shortly. Uh, some of them have eaten. I didn't want to handle them while they were while they were still 
inflated from the, the size of that rat. So that'll be coming in, out in a few days. We'll wait till they all are in. And one's in shed too. So Man, as soon as they get out, I'll uh, I'll, brief, I'll update you guys on that as well. Um, and that's that'll do it for us. So that's what you just saw was our super pastel breeder, our hidden green woman granite, and our pastel calico, which we have now updated our collection with, and hopefully we'll be breeding in the near, very near future. See you guys later.